So quick reminder, if you haven't entered the Norland 400 giveaway, uh, the deadline is the end of the month, so less than a week to go. Um, all you have to do is subscribe, make a video picking any lock, give a brief shout out to the channel or the giveaway, and was there one more? Oh, and include the Norland 400, hashtag Norland 400 in, in the title somewhere so I can find it. Um, in any case, I was... I had uh, I had received this pick today. It's uh, the LPU um, pick, limited edition, and I, I want I wanted to pick a, a lock with it. So I grabbed this bag of random random locks that I had received, um, and the first one I grabbed was this Falcon here, and I was going to pick it for this video, and I realized that I couldn't. I can't remove the key. <laughs> I guess I'd never tried it when I got the, the the locks. So I figured let's let's take a look at this. I I don't exactly know what I'm going to encounter. I did remove the cap once just to look inside, uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to fix it. My goal is hopefully to be able to to fix it and um, just kind of explore the lock together a little bit. So the first thing I got to do is remove this little tailpiece. That's uh, Schlage style. You just push down this little pin at the back, unscrew the back little cap here, get yourself a little pinning tray, and drop your stuff. Okay, then uh, you want a follower to remove the, to, to hold the driver pins in place and their springs, and remove the, um, the plug. And the plug, I noticed, only has two pins. So where are the rest of the pins? I didn't look in here, actually. Let's see, let's see what's going on in here. Um, there are a set of tweezers. And let's see how many drivers we have. It doesn't look like, okay, so there's a driver on two. And it did feel like there was a spring there. So let's get that spring as well. Uh, nothing on three. There's a driver on four and a spring. Uh, these are drivers, I'll keep them up. And that's it. So there are only two pins in here for whatever reason. Oh, it doesn't, it's kind of neat. This is like a, I can use a, if I go grab a uh, Allen key, I can take this out and it, it looks like a kick holder. So you can put a kick, uh, key and knob lock in there. So this might be a nice little thing. Um, all right, so then what, what is keeping the, well, that's what's keeping the key and I still, I can't pull it out of the plug. Oh, okay, that's even weirder. Both of these pins come out that's interesting too. The um, all right. So, anyways, pin two. Ugh, my fingers are getting nasty. And pin four. One interesting thing is that the top of this is filed flat. I don't know if that's normal for. No, I have a bunch of Falcon kicks. Oh wait. And, ah, okay. There. Was... <laughs> that's why I can't pull the key out. Look at that. It's one of those um, trap keys, I guess. Well, that's really weird. Oh well. Um. I think what, what I'll do is turn this into something. Uh, I'll, I'll file this into an actual key. I was hoping to. I was hoping that there was something else going on, and I was going to go ahead and make a um, uh, pin this up. But you know what we can do? I have other falcons in here. I think is this a falcon? No, what is this? Corbin. I'm trying to see if I have another falcon key in here. I have a bunch of falcons in the other room. You know what? I will go grab one of those other falcons real quick so that I can do what I want it to do. I'll be right back. Actually, I'll pause the, vid I'll pause the video for you guys. Okay, I'm back with a, another falcon kick here. And this one has a functioning key. What I was thinking is I could file this down to make a new bidding, um, but I'll probably do that after. This one does have two keys. So I could use one for this and I can use the other for this one. Hopefully it's the same keyway, I didn't check. It is, phew, okay. Um, what I did want to look at, let's open this guy up real quick. Does this one also have that flat spot on the top of the plug? Yeah, he does, okay. So I guess the Falcons just have flat tops like that which should make them easier to pick. And um, let's get 
that out. Put that in there. Oops. There we go. Just putting this back in there. We'll put that aside for now. So what we can do is we can put this in here. And to repin it, you can get yourself a cheap little pinning kit. So here's a pinning kit. Let's move some of this stuff out the way. Weird, weird key. Um, you could stick this in any lock, actually, and just it kind of brick the lock. Get the key stuck in there. So you can get one of these cheap ones. This is for a quick set and schlag, but they should all have standardized uh, diameters. I don't know if we can find the right ones for this. So bottom pins, they're the ones, they're the key pins. Um, this is a number eight, and it's too long, too long, way too long, too long, uh, too short, and too long. All right, so the one that's too short needs a little bit longer pin. And if, yeah, let's see that, that one there. Okay, that looks good, all right. Uh, there are a number of them that was that's still too long, still a little too long. All right, so those two are too long. So let's go ahead and see if uh, we can fit the number six in here. Number six, that looks about okay. Uh, actually, that one looks too long there. That, that's, that one looks about okay. I think, I'm guessing we're gonna have a little bit of playroom. Now, the question is, if I go to five, is it gonna be the right length? Oh, it's too, well, no, that looks like it'll work. Okay. So I was, I was going to say, if, if, um, if I can't find the pins in this cheapo kit, that looks a little too long, then we have an option of going a little bit more expensive. That's right. But we'll see if we can make it work. I'll show some other stuff, other options. That looks about right. I'm going to go to a four here. Looks about right. And then the last one, it seemed pretty short, so I'm gonna go to a one. Oh, it looks too long still. So let's go to a zero. All right, that looks about right. Everything looks to be about right. So so we got the the, the, pl the plug pinned here. Um, and then for this, the top, we had um, we had two pins that we could load back in. So let's go ahead and uh, grab these. That was number four. Not that this really doesn't matter. Uh, which which cylinders you put in doesn't matter. But um, we have extra springs down here. Schlag top springs. That's what I'll use. Oh, there's like silver ones. There's copper color ones or whatever you want to call it, brass color ones springs get stuck together like this just unwind them right so there's these silver color ones or steel ones one and three how many pins am i dealing with six pins okay so i got two more to go in i'll put some of these other color ones in here so that's five and six and then you need a bunch of bottom pins. So these say they're Schlage top pins. They're a little bit longer than the ones that came out of the Falcon though. Let's, let's check out the quick set ones. They look the same size as the quick set. So there were quick set springs in here too. Um, maybe they matched it a bit better. Doesn't really matter, right? Uh, as long as they, they can compress all the way and they can spring it, then we're fine. So I'm gonna go ahead with these um, I'm going to start on number four there, put that guy in, and I'm going to populate the back half first. So I've got four in there like that and hold it in place with the follower and then you push it down and then have the follower uh, advance a little bit. Then I'll grab a new pin for five, put that in there. You can hold it with the tweezers, push the follower against it to hold it and then push the, the pin down like that. And then one more, so I'll grab another new pin, six. Put that in six, push it down, and there we go. And now I'll work on the front. So that was just so that I don't have to have this all the way back 
and be reaching all the way back and trying to do a, something crazy back there. It's uh, you do half at a time. It, it gives you uh, less distance to reach and makes it a little bit easier in general. Um, all right, so number three, put down three, push against it, and now push it down. Number two was this grubby old one. I don't know, I'm just anal to put things back where they were. You can do it however. So there's number two, and then I'll grab another new one for number one. This thing looked, this thing looked a little hollow on top. It is not. All right, there's number one. And that's in there. So let's go ahead and load this plug in here. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, we'll have to pick it back open probably. All right, so that's in. It seems to be working. Can I take the key out? I can take the key out. So we're locked. Let's get this out the way. Um, don't use this key. <laughs> it'll get stuck in there. I, uh, it'll get stuck in there and then we'll be really hosed would uh, trying to think how we would recover from that um, if you were to put this key in here you wouldn't be able to pull the plug out because the pins would be blocking you at that point um, yeah, you'd be pretty hosed there are ways to recover we could do the slam it on the table while putting a shim in right here since we have access to the back technique maybe I'll demonstrate in the future I, I explained that to a lot of people on discord that break their locks the slam it on the workbench till you fix it and we've recovered many many locks that way so it's a very valid technique because um, even if you removed this allen screw here the kick would have to come out the back like this uh, you could take the whole thing out but the key the bow of the key would now get stuck on the uh, on the housing so all right we're going to screw this in all right, once that's screwed in, I'm gonna turn the inner piece until we can get it lined up with the, with that pin. Where's our pin? I can't get it lined up for some reason. Something's not right. I did something wrong here with this uh, tail piece. I don't like that tail piece. I'm gonna leave it off anyways. I'll put it on later, but it, it, it gets in the way. All right, so. Push down our retaining pin here, screw in the back. Okay, let's test our key, not that one, this one. Works nicely. So we got uh, a lock back to life, I guess. Move stuff out of the way. And the whole reason we get a lock working is so that we can pick it. So let's give it a try. It's the same lock, even though it just went off, uh, off camera. Um, let's see if I can bring it into frame here. Here we go. Turn off some autofocus. Try to focus it right here. Okay. I turn it a little bit. The only tensioner I brought out is going to be tiny, uh, but it should work still. And the only pick I brought out was the Lock Pickers United pick. So if you're not if you're not familiar with Lock Pickers United. Uh, we have a Reddit sub and we have a Discord where a bunch of pickers get together. We have a karate belt system that helps you, helps motivate you to, tr to pick harder and harder locks and, and just have a little bit of a flair to display. Just a kind of a fun thing. All right, can I go from the bottom on this? I seem to be able to go from the bottom. And I can also go from this right ledge. So the warding is such that I can go from this right ledge or I can f go from the bottom. Um, the first one was binding and you see a lot of flex on this. Maybe this is a, the thinnest uh, Top of keyway wrench I have so it's not really representative of how hard I'm pushing But um, all right, let's see what we got. So the first one was binding pin six feels like it's binding Five These are brand new pins, so they should be nice, but they're in very dirty chambers. So we'll see. This one here seems to be stuck. So this 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 pick doesn't have any um 
any sort of handle on it. I'm used to a thicker one, uh, but this is, I guess, similar to using my SS Dev. See what I'm feeling. High. Watch, I can't get a Falcon open. So those who don't know Falcons, they tend to be pretty easy. They're all standard pins. Um, with my normal pick, I could go through a bunch of these in just a few minutes. But right now, I'm not having any luck. Question is, did I overset something while I was at it? I'm gonna reset. Not getting any feedback from this tensioner because it's way too thin. Uh, you want to use the thickest tensioner that you have available to you generally. I got a little click from six back there. Is this warding or is this a pin? Seems like maybe I'm meeting a lot of warding. Even though there shouldn't be any there. I should be able to pick from the bottom. Six. Okay, I'm not getting anything. Let me try the other direction. I can't pick this white. I'm guessing it's a white belt lock. Always hard. Felt something going up there. All right, one is springy, two springy, three feels like it's binding, but doesn't want to move at all. What is this? I, a, I wonder if it, the pin was so short that the that the driver doesn't clear. No, no, I have to check that after. What I mean by that is, um, is the pin stack so short that the driver doesn't even go above the shear line, and so the spring is in the shear line. That I doubt. But we did put like a number zero in there or something, right? Not having any luck. This should absolutely be rakeable as well, if you have any skills in raking. I, I don't generally have those skills anymore. I do hear pins falling when I reset. All right, maybe we have to do this. Give every lock respect, right? I wasn't respecting this. So one, two, three is the one that is binding. Doesn't feel binding right now. Four, lightly binding. No, not binding now. Five. Six. Five. One. Two is lightly binding. Probably an overset. Three. Maybe I'll just leave the whole picking portion out. Oh no, they got a click there. Nice feeling click on three, I think that was. Maybe this is four or five actually. Good under six here. Some sort of little click from six area. Five, it feels like there's some warding between the pins that I keep catching. This guy right here has a jiggle. Usually you wouldn't jiggle on just standard pins, but you can, absolutely. This one here, a little bit maybe. Six. Having the hardest time with it, just a standard lock. Oh, did 
I think I felt some movement up here at least. Thought I did. <laughs> this is perplexing me. This is amazing. Should be the back of the lock here. Nothing. Oh, there we go. So there's another pin at the back. Oh my gosh, that, that took way too long. Um... Let me see, let's look at this key. What are we experiencing? One, two, three, four, five. It's cut for five, but I populated it with six pins. So there must be a sixth pin that is just tickled by the front here or something like that. Very interesting. Let's try the key again. Now, oh, I was gonna say now I can't get the key in, but the key works beautifully. So, whew, all right, challenging, challenging lock. Uh, not really, but uh, I could blame all kinds of things, but nope. Um, it's fun when a, when a lock puts up a bit of a fight, even when it's a standard lock, you got to go back to them every now and then. But, um, all I wanted to do is remind people, uh, giveaway ends this, uh, later this, in six days or so, I think it is something like that on the end of the month. Uh, all right. Long, long, waffly window, long, waffly video, but thanks everyone. Bye.